Yo, what is up guys, it's the Pure Experience here, bringing you another best class setup video on Call of Duty Ghost. This video is going to be featuring the Bulldog Shotgun, but first of all, just want to say the gameplay in the background will be this class setup, so you get just of how good it is, alongside with, I will be showing you the class setup as a whole, then slowly breaking it down for you. So let's get on with the video. So the Bulldog Shotgun, it's a semi-automatic shotgun with a very high rate of fire and deadly at close range. Uh, this weapon has the best fire rate of its class so it's very capable of getting those uh, fairly long distance shots when you uh, want to spam it as well as it is a one shot up close so it's a very versatile gun and a very consistent gun as well so it isn't one of those random uh, guns where you get one shot one time and uh, like a free shot another it's more or less um, a one shot up close 90% of the time I'd say and uh, long range depends on how long you're actually thinking it could take up to five shots but still is a very good gun but going down to the attachments I have chosen for this weapon is the muzzle brake and extended mags the muzzle brake is going to allow me about 50% more um, range so uh, that's what it says in the stats but I, I doubt that but uh, still it gives me a lot more range at distance therefore gives me a bit more range at distance so I can get those kills a little bit quicker at a little bit of distance so it's it's probably a must have as shotguns have really bad range uh, to start off with so I'd go with it 100% every time so going down to the extended mags, extended mags is going to give me 50% more ammo in each magazine instead of having 6 shots I'm going to have 9 shots therefore I don't have to reload as much I can get at least 3 kills per per mag depending on whether or not I uh, get some long distance kills or close quarter kills but uh, still very versatile gun I'd use this map on smaller maps such as strike zone, sovereign etc um, as long as well it depends on, on your playstyle really but small maps is very beneficial for this weapon Going down to the secondary lethal and tactical, I'm using nothing in either three categories as I'm using quite a lot of perks. So with that said, going down to the perks, I am using uh, a total of six perks. I'm using ready up, agility, marathon, steady aim, dead silence and focus. Ready up is going to allow me to pick up my weapon faster after aiming to get them kills as you can be running about 80% of the time. Agility and marathon are two perks what are great together they're going to allow me to get across the map much faster as one increases movement speed and the other uh, allows me to do unlimited sprint going down to steady aim steady aim is going to make my hip fire spread a little bit smaller therefore makes hip firing a lot easier for me to actually pick up those kills as my bullets bunch up a little bit better than they would without it going down to dead silence dead silence is going to allow me to sound here to some extent without using an amplifier, a lot of people don't use dead silence, so it's a good, a good pack to use if you want to sound hard to some extent. Focus is going to allow me to um, reduce my flinch when hit, which is always good in any sort of gunfight. Uh, probably the best pack on the game. Going down to my straight package, I'm using a 357, a satcom to utilize the map and get the best out of uh, the map. You know, map awareness and player awareness, as a lot of people don't use off the grid. Uh, a dog or the guard dog which is going to allow me to you know it's going to allow it's going to, well it ain't going to allow me to do anything it's going to pick up those kills from behind and get the unexpected people which try and shoot me in the back trinity rocket it's not the best but it's uh, it, it'll do it it can get you a potential of three kills uh, normally it gets me around about two so it's 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 good enough but it's not the best but it's this setup is for those casual people as well as those try hard you can always up your strike package. I just thought this would be the best as I'm co constantly on the go, so using big kill streaks is uh, not really worth it. But anyway, guys, if you like this video or if you like this class setup, please drop a like and a comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.